You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. I'm back. Rodriance for our Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about Junior Gallette. He was a defensive end that played with the Saints, primarily did do one year with the uh, Washington Redskins slash Commanders. Will always be the Redskins to me. Uh, he has filed a massive lawsuit against the NFL, against Roger Goodell, against several NFL teams, and against the NFLPA. Why, you may ask? Because this guy believes he has been blackballed for coming out and talking about social justice issues in the NFL, and he thinks he's been blackballed like Colin Kaepernick. Except Colin Kaepernick wasn't blackballed, and from what I can tell... You haven't been blackballed either. Either Outside of a couple of outlier years, you seem like you might have been a pretty pedestrian defensive end in the NFL. Just saying. Uh, and we'll, we'll dig into the weeds on this because um, this guy made a lot of money, frankly. He made a lot of money in his career. So I don't know at 34 years old what exactly his beef is. So, And we'll also get into some remarks he made about his then-coach, Sean Payton. I think they had just cut him, and he made made some remarks, and it's shocking to me that he ever would be allowed to play in the NFL after these remarks. Um, He did so. Well, in fact, let's just start with that so you've got some uh, frame of reference. Junior Gallette appears to accuse Sean Payton of being a drunk and a drug abuser. Okay, now mind you, th- okay, this was when the Saints released him. He was 27 years old at the time, and uh, he went on his girlfriend's account. It was either his girlfriend or him on her account, and he ran his mouth at a repugnant level about Sean Payton. Now, one thing you might want to remember here is uh, Sean Payton comes off the Bill Parcells coaching tree, along with Bill Belichick. And that tree has a lot of branches all over the league. You went out there, you run your mouth at a level, or at least your girlfriend did. And look, the thing about it is, it's ob- pretty obvious. All of this stuff came from Junior about Sean Payton, okay? Uh, either it was things that were said directly to his gal or it was things that he got on her account and said. But he goes on here and accuses uh, Peyton of being a drunk, a drug abuser, hooked on prescription pills. He went down here, and, 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 I mean, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Said, you're not Parcells. I mean, come on. Why don't you tell them about you showing up to team meetings drunk instead of saying leadership? You are the leader, you idiot. He goes down here, uh, calls Sean Payton's girlfriend a whore. Yeah, right there. Because of your whore girlfriend, hashtag pussy whipped. And this guy believes he was blackballed out of the league over social justice issues. You seem like a guy that maybe you can't control your temper and maybe people just decided they don't want you on your team. Again, Sean Payton's coaching branches are all over the league. Nobody is going to soon forget that. Junior Gallette files a $300 million lawsuit against the NFL, NFLPA, Roger Goodell. There are at least two Florida citizens who are representing themselves in legal matters this week. I don't know what that means, Florio, but okay. Former NFL defensive end Junior Gallette has from time to time on social media and possibly elsewhere complained that he has been blackballed from pro football. On Tuesday, he took steps to prove his claims. In a 21-page lawsuit filed in the U.S. District Court for Southern District of Florida, Gallette sued the league, the NFLPA, 
Commissioner Roger Goodell, and several teams. The Seahawks, Rams, Raiders, Browns, Chiefs, Panthers, and Commanders. Gallette, who spent eight years in the NFL, represents himself. The complaint specifically contends that Gallette has been blackballed, quote, just like Colin Kaepernick, and put on the blacklist by NFL owners for speaking out against about alleged racial discrimination committed against him by the commanders. Gallette's allegation of discrimination focuses on the disparity in his contract given to Trent Murphy and the deal offered to Gallette in 2018. Gallette alleges, based on the offer he received, he posted on Snapchat, quote, I swear to God, I'm not playing for no slave deals. I'll die before I play for more slave deals. So instead of going out there and playing your ass off to earn a big contract, you decided this was about race. So you went on Snapchat, you went on social media, and you drowned an NFL team. And you wonder why you can't get a job exactly? Why would anybody want that drama coming to their team? I mean, they offered you a contract, much like Colin Kaepernick with the Denver Broncos offering him a contract. People don't remember this. You turned it down. You turned it down, Jack. Gallette alleges that after making his statement on social media, he was unable to land an acceptable job with another NFL team. No shit? Really? He contends, for example, he visited the Raiders, where coach John Gruden allegedly told Gallette that he was, quote, one of the best pass rushers I've ever seen, but all we have for you is the veteran's minimum of $660,000. Okay, well, what was their cap situation like? I mean, come on. Likewise, Gallette claims he opted to sign for the veteran minimum with the Rams. Coach Sean McVay allegedly told Gallette, quote, I can't wait for you to get here. You already know most of the guys, we are all fired up. Gallette says defensive assistant Joe Barry asked Gallette to pick up a jersey number. Then Gallette, per Gallette, he was preparing to practice. A staff member told him that there was a, quote, change of plans and that Gallette was being taken back to the airport. The lawsuit seeks $300 million in damages from various defendants. The NFL declined to comment. Presumably, the league will argue that the claim should exclusively be resolved by available devices under the CBA. That's the approach Kaepernick used. There's also a potential defense based on applicable statutes of limitation. While anyone and everyone has the right to represent themselves in court, this typically happens only after lawyer after lawyer after lawyer decline to represent him. It would be a steep uphill battle with a lawyer. Without one, Gallette will have a very hard time getting anywhere, either in court or arbitration. So, we've got a guy that went out there. He drowned Sean Payton. Not just Sean Payton. Sean Payton's girlfriend. Okay, again, Bill Parcells and all the coaching branches that come off of that. Payton, Belichick. Anybody that has ever coached for them all around the league, this guy or his girlfriend or things he said to his girlfriend went online, drowned all drowned Sean Payton, one of the most well-respected, best coaches we've seen in the last 20 years, certainly an offensive-minded genius. You went out there and you drowned him and you couldn't figure out why you couldn't get a job. By the way, he still got a job after that. With the commanders. Yeah. He still got a job. Uh, so I can't really see. And, and without a lawyer. I don't know how far you think you're going to get anyway. I mean. Uh, let's see. We can just find out right here. Uh, how much money you made. Uh, there was a big ass contract in here. Uh, with the Saints. Four year. 51 uh, $41.5 million. You got a $3.5 million signing bonus. You played at least one year under that contract. Then you got a $745,000 deal with the uh, commanders. And then you even had a base salary all the way up to $775,000 also with the commanders. So, and let's look. We can look at career earnings here. 
Uh, he made uh, twenty-four point six three three million dollars in his NFL career. Yeah, I could only hope to be blackballed like that. And I think we all know this is a bogus lawsuit. Okay, he went out there. He run his mouth. He was known to have a bad attitude around the league, it seemed like. And you think teams, and I'm sure the Rams, probably were going to bring you on. And then they got to do some digging. Their, maybe their phones started ringing, and they were like, that's not really the character guy you want on the team. And I don't know why players believe that it's just their skill set. Character is a thing on a football team. Okay, look, the NFL doesn't really care, and we know this, what you do off the league. Hell, look at Deshaun Watson. But we do know inside the locker room, I would assume the one thing you would never want to do is drown one of the best coaches in the NFL and his girlfriend because you're proving you're willing to get extremely personal about somebody's... uh, significant other etc etc and you expect teams to just beat down the door to sign you nah nah and he he, yeah Florio points something out that's very valid here if this guy's representing himself he couldn't get a lawyer to take this case because it's bullshit let's be real total and complete bullshit just saying Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Wow. Another guy that thinks he's blackballed. Got nothing to do with his own actions. Once again, see Colin Kaepernick. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.